Hi everyone, it's Miss Hong here. We're gonna go over a few formulas that you would have saw on your formula sheet that was given to you by Mr. Westwood and it's still uploaded into a file in the files. And we're gonna go over a few of these formulas. We did see them in action in the video that I posted uh, yesterday and you would have used it answering the practice problems as well. So we're gonna show you a few more practice problems that are a little bit more difficult, but along the same lines using these formulas, okay? These formulas can be rearranged to solve for a component that you may not have. So I'm gonna show you a way of rearranging and also using these formulas. So let's go into a practice question now, which is this one here, a dragster accelerates to a speed of 112 meters per second over a distance of 398 meters. Determine the acceleration. Assume that it is uniform of the dragster. So the first thing, whenever I get a question such like this, and I want to know which formula I can use, I want to write out all the components that I have or whatever I for sure have for values. So I know that the dragster accelerated to a speed of 112. So that's their final speed. So V F equals one, one, two M over S. And that means their initial speed must have been zero meters per second. And the dragster traveled a distance of 398 meters. We wanna look for acceleration. So which formula can we use that can give us acceleration and that we have all these to put into that formula? So if we look over here, we can use this formula right here, vf squared or equals vi squared plus two times ad. And we're gonna isolate for a. So let's write that down. And isolate for a. So we're gonna fill this in here. Squared, oh, it's an s. But this is squared equals VI, 0M over S squared, plus 2A and distance 398 meters. Okay, and we're going to isolate for A, but get these answers here first, which is 12544 meters uh, squared over second squares because we squared the number and the units here, zero M squared over S squared plus seven, nine, six meters uh, times A. Sorry, I flipped these two around, but it's the same. And then we're gonna continue it. One, two, five, four, four meters squared over S squared equals seven, nine, six meters over A. And then divide this over and A will equal uh, 15.8 meters per second squared is your acceleration. The next question now is a bullet leaves a rifle with a muzzle velocity of 521 meters per second while accelerating through a barrel of of a rifle. The bullet moves a distance of 0 0.840 meters. Determine the acceleration of the bullet. Assume a uniform acceleration. So again, we want to write down every uh, component of this question into the factors that we have and which therefore we can figure out which formula we can use. So VF we know is 521 meters per second. So that means VI must equal zero. The distance was given as 0 0.840 and we do not have A. Okay, A is acceleration. So again, we can use the same formula as last time because we're only missing the value A. Oops, we're only missing the value A and therefore we can solve for it. Okay, and we're going to fill this all in now. 5 to 1 meters per second. This is squared. 
and then that's a two so equals uh, zero m over s squared plus 1.68 meters times acceleration and then we will get once you square all the numbers I just left that one at zero and I didn't square it all the way through because we're just gonna cancel that one out. That one's just gonna go away because zero squared is zero and you're gonna move the 1.68 over by dividing it. So uh, 271441 meters squared over S squared divided by 1.68 meters acceleration is 1.62 times 10 to the 5 meters per second squared there remember this is a bullet leaving a rifle so it's super fast which makes sense why the speed would be that fast so whenever you're calculating numbers make sure that you always double check does that make sense next question a feather is dropped on the moon from a height of 1.4 meters. The acceleration of gravity on the moon is 1.67 meters per second square. Determine the time for the feather to fall to the surface of the moon. So again, write down all the variables that you are given. So distance is 1.4, but we should note that distance is actually negative. So negative 1.4 meters because it's dropping down right so negative meters acceleration is negative 1.67 and then uh, vi 0, 0.0 meters per second so it's starting at a height at an initial velocity or initial speed of zero time equals question mark so how are we going to solve for this one? Well, let's go back to our formulas and see which formula we can use. We have distance, acceleration, the initial speed, and time. Well, 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 look at here. We can use this guy right here because we have the initial speed, distance, acceleration, and time. It does not require the final speed, so we can definitely use this formula. To solve for time. So D equals VI um, times by T plus 0 0.5 because it was 1 over 2. 0 0.5 uh, times A over T squared. Now we're going to put in the components which is, I'm gonna start down here, 1.4, 1.4 negative uh, meters equal zero meters per second. And then it is times by T plus 0 0.5 multiplied by that acceleration, which is also negative meters per second squared. And you're also multiplying by T squared. Sorry, I ran out of room. And then you get numbers 1.4 meters um, equal, 1.4 meters equal the zero here, um, plus 0 0.835, but minus because I took the 0 0.5 and I multiplied it over and you get meters per second squared and still multiplying by the t squared and we're still isolating for t squared so we're just going to move everything over to the other side of the equation so we actually have negative 1.4 divided by negative 0 0.835 meters per second squared and you get 
uh, t squared over here. Then you get 1.68 seconds squared equals t squared. You're going to square root it. And then you get a value of 1.29 seconds for time. So a lot of these questions, you're solving for one variable, but you have to move around the entire uh, equation to get the final answer. So it's just picking the right variables, picking the right formula, and inserting them to solve for the missing variable. So make sure you read the question uh, directly and pick the right formula. So good luck, everyone. See you in the live lecture.